Planet Dolan. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned, as the saying goes, and the ladies in today's video are no exception. Do you think some of their reactions are justified? Do you think crazy ex-boyfriends could ever match these girls for their sheer inventiveness? Here are 15 crazy ex-girlfriends you won't believe existed. Hi there! My name is Doopy and I'm here to tell you some really interesting things that you might not have heard before. Number 15. Ji Ying Nan Chinese TV host Ji Ying Nan had been enjoying a four-year relationship with government official Fan Yue when she was shocked to discover he was already married with a son. Ji's response was to stand outside the government party headquarters handing out CDs containing photos and videos of the pair's relationship. The photo showed an extravagant lifestyle for a low-ranking official, leading to corruption charges against Mr. Fan. Number 14. Lady Sarah Graham Moon Lady Sarah and Sir Peter Graham Moon of Berkshire, England were aiming for a clean, friendly divorce. That is, until Peter started seeing the blonde girl down the road. Reaching her breaking point, she headed to the lovers' meetup and poured five liters of paint over his BMW. She then went to the back of the house, cut off one sleeve from each of his 32 Seville Rose suits, and distributed the contents of his wine cellar to the delighted neighbors. Number 13. Simone de Beauvoir French writers and philosophers Jean-Paul Sartre and Simone de Beauvoir had an unusual relationship. Simone would seduce young female students and then pass them over to her man when she was done with them. This arrangement worked fine until Sartre started obsessing over a student named Olga and her younger sister. Simone's response was to dedicate her book, She Came to Stay, to young Olga. At the end of the book, a character representing Simone brutally murders one similar to Olga. Number 12. Claire Hawley When Claire Hawley's boyfriend and father of her child changed his Facebook relationship status to single, she realized it was truly over. She then decided that the best course of action would be to put away half a bottle of wine and a few vodkas and get into his car. She drove to the bowling alley where he was playing and plowed the car through the entrance, wrecking the building and her ex's car. Number 11. Tracy Hood Davis Discovering that her husband had been cheating on her with three other ladies, Tracy Hood Davis gathered the mistresses together for a group revenge. The ladies lured their lover to a hotel, tied him to the bed, and stripped him naked. They then held him at gunpoint and superglued his manhood to the inside of his leg. A great example of women working together to achieve a common goal. Number 10. Lisa Coker Unable to stand the thought of wedding bells for her ex-boyfriend, Lisa Coker decided to gatecrash the party. She even brought two wedding gifts with her, a crowbar and a razor blade. The vengeful ex was stopped at the entrance by the mother of the groom who Lisa attacked. After a fight which left the mother with a sliced arm, Lisa was eventually hauled off to jail for aggravated battery. She didn't get any of the cake either. Number 9. Eleanor of Aquitaine Eleanor had been married to Louis VII, the King of France, but despite the best efforts of her husband and the pleadings of the Pope, she wanted an annulment. Louis VII eventually gave in and the separation became official. Within two months, she had married a man who was to become Henry II of England and ultimate nemesis of the French. Louis was rather fromaged off about this. Number 8. Tatiana Bastos Ricardo Morias had left his girlfriend Tatiana for another woman, but Tatiana wasn't done with him yet. She showed up at his work at the factory and tried to seduce him again. Ricardo turned her down and offered to drive her home. Tatiana accepted and once in the car pulled out a knife and stabbed her ex in the very place that a man doesn't want to be stabbed. <coughs> Number 7. Tawny Blazejowski 
When Joe Good broke up with his girlfriend Tani in 2012, she made a commitment to completely destroy the man's life. Joe was arrested at an airport when she reported a false drug accusation, and his daughter had her dorm room searched for the same reason. Tani sent out threatening letters to every woman in Joe's life and even got him fired from his job. Eventually, she was sentenced to nine years on multiple charges. Number six, Christina Pongrax. Christina Pongrax couldn't bear the thought of her 77-year-old sugar daddy being the one to end their 10-year relationship. The young lady picked up the elderly gentleman's walking cane and proceeded to beat him to within an inch of his life. The retired CEO died a couple of months later from his injuries, killed by someone a third of his age. Number 5. Lady Caroline Lamb One of Lord Byron's many conquests, Lady Coraline became besotted with the 19th century poet. After their year-long affair ended, Caroline continued to send him steamy letters while publicly denouncing him. One of her letters even contained a lock of the lady's pubic hair. The poor Lady Caroline was driven to despair by Byron's neglect, attempting to cut her wrists with a wine glass at a social function. The pair continued to exchange letters until it descended into a bitter rivalry. Number 4. Dominique Fisher Many people have made the dubious decision of tattooing their lover's name on their bodies. Dominique Fisher thought she'd save her new man some time by carving her own name into his arm with a craft knife. The pair had met a couple of days before on a drink and drug binge, and while he was passed out from vodka and Valium, she took the opportunity to leave a lasting impression. Number 3. Catherine Knight As their relationship fell apart, Australian abattoir worker Catherine Knight wanted to have her husband over for dinner one last time. Literally. Catherine stabbed her husband to death, removed his skin, and cooked his head and buttocks on the stove. She served the food at a table with placeholders for her ex's lover's children. The children must not have gotten the invite. Number 2. Lorena Bobbitt Perhaps the most famous on the list of psycho spouses is Lorena Bobbitt, who performed an impromptu penisectomy on her abusive husband in 1993. She performed the operation with a kitchen knife while John was sleeping and flung the offending organ out of a moving car window. Luckily for John, doctors were able to sew his little friend back on. But while he was reattached to his penis, he was separated from his wife. Number 1. Anna Ivanovna Anna Ivanovna was not the most beautiful member of Russian royalty. Her only husband even drank himself to death during their honeymoon, leaving Anna with a slightly dim view of love and romance. She spent the rest of her life mocking marriage by forcing one of her recently widowed princes to marry her maid and had them spend the night in a bedroom made of ice. Anna died alone, no thanks to her uncle Peter the Great, who turned down every suitor who ever proposed to her and even held a dwarf wedding along with hers as a form of mockery. Damn. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.